Hi everyone! Today we're going to be making a student favorite art project. We're going to be making kinetic art, which is art that moves. So here I have a sculpture that is an example of kinetic art. This is not what we're going to be making today, but it's still pretty cool. So this sculpture can move if I do this. Or even this. Artists from all over the world have been making kinetic art that moves from all sorts of forces like wind or water or even they may use motors or engines or even computers. But today we're going to be making our art move by the power of us. So this is what we're going to be making. We're going to be making fish. Now this fish looks like a mild-mannered, innocent little fish. But when you open it up, he becomes an ice cream seeking, chocolate loving maniac. I would not want to get in the way of this fish and his chocolate ice cream. We're going to have a lot of fun with this project. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to label our paper. And the reason we're going to label it is because we're going to be doing some folding and I don't want you to get confused as to what parts the front and what parts the back. So we're going to write front or you can just write F for front at the top and the bottom, so front and front. And I want you to write it lightly in pencil because we're gonna erase it later. Then turn your paper over, and at the top of your paper, you can write back or B for back, very lightly in pencil because we're gonna erase it later. So now we're gonna flip this paper back over, and we're gonna start folding. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the top part of my paper here and I'm gonna fold it down and I'm gonna fold it so that the two corners match up here and here. I'm gonna press down in the center and I'm gonna zip up and zip down. So now I have a fold. It's like hot, uh, hamburger style, right? Now, I am going to take my flap right here that says back upside down and I'm gonna fold this up, okay? So I want this corner to match here and this corner to match there. So I'm gonna line those corners up, just like that. Press down in the center, zip up, zip down. So now your paper should say front and front. So now I'm gonna turn it over where it says back here. I'm gonna lift this flap up and I'm gonna fold it up again to meet these corners. Okay, so I'm gonna make this corner match up here, this corner match up there. Press down in the middle, zip up, zip down, okay? So now, my paper should look like this. It is folded into quarters, okay? So it has four equal pieces in it, right? For you math gurus out there. So, the way we're gonna open this up is like this. I want you to hold it like this, okay? And I want you to take the very, very bottom flap and I just want you to bring it forward like that. So let me show you again. Hold it like this, take the very bottom flap and bring it forward. What you should see is the word front here and the word front there. That's how you know you did it right. So now you can erase the word front because we don't need it anymore. There we go. And we're gonna start drawing our fish. So um, I'm gonna have you put at least two fingers, we're gonna make a dot here, but put at least two fingers from the edge of the paper and two fingers over here. This is where the body of the fish is gonna go because we wanna leave room for the tail over here and we wanna leave room for what our fish eats over there. So we're gonna make a football shape, all right? So to make a football shape, I'm gonna go from one dot to the other and make a rainbow line. And for the bottom of the football, we're gonna make a smile line. Now, it's kind of like a squish circle, right? I don't want my fish to be like a circle. I want it to be like um, a football, right? So it's gonna be kind of squished. But if you make it a circle, it's not too big of a deal. It's just gonna be like a cute round fish. So now, let's add our fish's tail. We're gonna, it doesn't really matter what side you add it on, but I'm gonna add my fish's tail over here. So I'm gonna start at this dot and I'm gonna make a diagonal line up 
and a diagonal line down like that, and I'm gonna draw a up and down vertical line right there. All right, there's his tail, it's a triangle. I'm gonna add a circle for the eye. You can do the eye any way you want. Maybe I'm gonna do my fish's eye like that. All right, so now he needs some fins. So let's add one up here. This one's gonna be a triangle, and your fin, you can draw that any way you want. I'm gonna make one over here at the bottom. And if you want, you can add another little fin down here. So let's see, maybe kind of like that. But you do not have to add that fin if you don't want to. So now for the fun part. We're gonna open it up by lifting this front flap just like that. There's our surprise inside. So this is gonna be kind of like a game of connect the dots. So I'm gonna start at the tail. I'm gonna connect this dot to this dot with a straight vertical line. And I'm gonna connect this dot to this dot with, you could do a straight line or you can do a slightly curvy one, like so. And then here, I'm going to connect this dot and this dot, but I'm gonna do that with a curve like that. If you need to, you can practice it with your finger first. But I'm gonna do a backwards C. So here we go. Backwards C, just like that. So now he's got a big mouth, he's hungry. What are we gonna feed him? My fish is craving pizza. He's, he's not so hungry for chocolate ice cream, he wants some pizza. You could make him eat another fish, and you could make him eat like a steak. You could make him eat um, a robot, it, a scuba diver, it doesn't matter. You can get creative and be as silly as you want. I can't wait to see what you're gonna make your fish eat. So here's my pizza, there's the crust. I'm just gonna make a triangle. There we go. Let's make it a pepperoni pizza. There we go, a couple pepperonis. All right, my fish is hungry. He needs some teeth to eat this pizza though. You could make square teeth, triangular teeth. I'm gonna give him some triangular ones, just a couple. All right, now. I'm gonna add some texture on my fish. Maybe my fish has um, some lines on his back tail like this. So I'm gonna add some lines. And you can do the same thing on your other fence. All right, so if you're in kindergarten through second grade, you can kind of decorate this simply. Just add a couple lines here and there. Um, and you can color it if you want, if you have crayons or color pencils or markers at home. But if you're in grades three through five, I have a challenge for you. I would like you to fill every square inch of this fish with patterns and textures or shapes and lines, okay? Just like my ice cream fish, right? I've got zigzag lines, I've got little circular um, lines like scales, I've got little blobs, I've got polka dots, um, dashed lines, little bricks. So you can get creative. There's a million different combinations you can add. And so I want you to decorate him and see if you can fill your entire fish. I double dog dare you to fill your entire fish with patterns. You do not have to color it, but if you do have those art supplies at home, go for it. All right, so I'm just gonna finish decorating my fish now, and then I'm gonna color it just so you can see him a little better and we can see the final product. All right, so here's the big reveal. Are you ready? He's one hungry fish. Um, 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 um. Okay, so now that I'm done, one thing I wanted to point out to you that I noticed was that when you're drawing what the surprise is on the inside, make sure that it all is between this line 
and this line. And you could even take a pencil and lightly draw a line here and here so you remember. So I'm gonna do that right now so you can see. If I were to just take a pencil and lightly draw a line here and here, that would help me to remember to make sure that my surprise stays within here. So really the only place that it was a problem in this drawing was this little bit of circles here. So when I close it, some of those circles still show up. So you just wanna make sure that you, you know, you're opening and closing it every now and then and making sure that your surprise on the inside isn't going past this line or this line. So pro tip from Miss Shaw. I just know you all are gonna have so much fun making these fish and you're gonna have even more fun playing with them and showing them to your family and friends. All right, it's kinetic art, so get moving. Have fun. Don't forget, if you want to share your art with me, you can just email it to me. Thanks for watching. Bye.